Well, hello and welcome back to The Daily Brew, the devotional where every day we drink a new brew of coffee and we see what God is brewing for us in the Bible. Yes, it's cheesy, but it's true. And you join me here for day 163, live, pre-recorded live from Singapore. It is so great to have you with me today. I'm excited to get into our scriptures and try another coffee from Singapore. Today I have something very interesting Uh, And I pray it's better than yesterday's coffee. Let's have a look though, day 163, at what scriptures we're going to be reading today. They are in the descriptions on every platform. Let's check them out right now. Psalm chapter 73, verse 1 to 14. Acts chapter 7, verse 44 to chapter 3, uh, sorry, chapter 8, verse 3. And 2 Samuel chapter 18, verse 19 to chapter 19, verse 43. So those are the scriptures that we're going to be reading today. Make sure you get into those and you unpack them for yourself A massive welcome to everybody on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, YouTube, and any of our other platforms that you're joining us from today. Great to have you here with us as we devour the Bible in our devotional plan. Devour sounded aggressive, sorry. Don't know where that came from. Anyway, today for the brews, I have got myself this can. Well, it's actually not a can. It's a plastic bottle, and I got it because it looked good. Not because I could understand anything on this bottle. This... I, I let me read it to you. It says this is the product's name is Just Drink Latte. That's what it's called, Just Drink. Uh, it's a product of Taiwan. So we've had a uh, we've had the other day. What do we have? We had a Korean coffee. We've had a Malaysian instant coffee. I think that's what that was. Today I've got a latte, a, a cold latte from Taiwan. So I'm excited to give this a try. I'm going to give this a shake, and we're going to open it up. It's a beautiful packaging. If you're on um, Spotify or Apple Podcasts, it's worth just having a look on YouTube just at the beautifulness of this packaging. Elegant, slim, sleek, sleek, chic, chic, is that a word? I don't know. Oh, look at this. It's got a peel back top. Stressful. A little bit stressful. I'm sorry. I went dead silent there. That's not good for a podcast. Sorry about that. Oh, okay, less excited now. That okay. <sighs> Let's give this a try. Let's give this a try. Let's give it a try. I'm optimistic. Now, come on, man. Have some faith. You're in Singapore. Come on, Taiwanese coffee. Let's go. <laughs> Ooh, what the heck is in this? Wow. I don't know, maybe it's the flavour that's putting me on. Oh, there's butter in here. There's butter in it. Wow, this is the first coffee I've ever had. I've never had a coffee before that had butter in it. This can't be good for me at all. I don't know. I want to like it. The initial taste is nice. But then it, yeah, then it's got, it it does have this really full fat flavor to it, texture to it. I think it's, what did I give the Korean coffee? Annalise has gone for a walk to help me film this, uh, so I don't know what I gave this. I think I gave the Korean one a six. So I think for this one, I'm going to give it a four. Because it's not one that I would be like, go and pick this again. I think I'd choose the the Korean one over that one, but yeah, it's so strange. I feel so bamboozled. I'm just going to grab some water because I just feel, I actually don't like the the texture. Yeah, let's move on from the brew. Let's get into the Bible, the reason that we're here today. Our psalmist today tells us, it's a four out of 10, by the way, I'm just going to, I'm leaving that there. Let's move on. Our psalmist today tells us that they kept a pure heart. But even still, they've found their life extremely tough. The psalmist says that they've had struggles and they've been plagued by these struggles. That's the word that they use. They've been plagued by temptation, doubts, fears, and anxiety. Have you ever wondered to yourself, and and be, be honest, be honest, have you really wondered ever, is my faith worth it? Like, would it be better just to live my life ignorant of sin and ignorant of his presence? Would that actually be a better way to live my life instead of having my faith? Because it's just so challenging being a Christian. Is it really is it really worth it? The psalmist goes on saying that they looked at society 
and they seem to be doing very well without God. This is called the prosperity of the wicked. The wicked. Now, being in Singapore, I'm seeing lots of prosperity. As a nation, they're very well off. Largely a middle-class nation, but the architecture's phenomenal. The streets are super clean. The nation is super new. You're only allowed to own a car here for 10 years, and you have to sell it. Uh, or sorry, or scrap it. It's, it's, in, it's incredibly high standards for a nation. And while I don't know everybody's story, I do know it's not a fully Christian nation. If it's not all God's blessing, then... Is it is God all in it? Is it is it really like is it really good? I, I I don't know. I don't know the answer to that question. But what we do know is that in our psalm today, we see a change of heart from the psalmist. It's drastic and intense. It's reminiscent to me of what happens when I've come in contact with the presence of God. The psalmist comes to a realization that their final destiny is going to be different to those who are without Christ. That while they prosper here on earth, they will not in eternity. Our faith on earth serves us in two ways. Number one, it gives us hope and peace during our trials here on earth. And number two, it gives us an eternal glory in heaven. Look at how they finish the psalm. It says, but as for me, it is good to be near to God. And to that I say, amen. In our passage in Acts today, we see something pretty special that happens when even the hardest of heart can change. We, we uh, When we talk about circumcision, I stumbled because I was about to say circumcision. Why did I stumble on that word? I don't know. Not a word we use very often in public. And I'm just saying it out here for the world to go listen to me say it. Circumcision. Let's talk about it. When we talk about circumcision, we have to acknowledge that for Jews, this was actually a physical act. Every male was circumcised on the eighth day of his life. But this was never meant to be where it stops. It was always meant to be a symbol of the circumcised heart. As Stephen ends his speech today, he challenges that the people who are accusing him. He challenges the people who are accusing him. He says that they are stiff-necked, who have uncircumcised uncircumcised hearts and ears, that they, like their ancestors, resist the Holy Spirit. Stephen is speaking to the priests of the temple. It's important to see that through his speech, he is emphasizing that God's Spirit is now no longer limited to man-made temples, but now is found in every person who invites the Holy Spirit to dwell in them. In effect, you and I, if we have the Holy Spirit in us, are now priests of our temples. As such, we can read the speech and receive the challenge of Stephen for ourselves. One of those in attendance whose heart is uncircumcised in this meeting is a man named Saul. This man Saul is a key figure who persecuted the church for many, many years. He killed Christians, and for others, he just grabbed them and locked them up in jail. And spoiler alert, Saul goes on to do great things for Jesus. And who knows, maybe this moment with Stephen and hearing this speech was a seed-planting moment for him. What we do know, though, is that he does go on to talk about, in the book of Romans, the importance of a circumcised heart. To circumcise means to cut off, right? And every true Christian, when they're, when they're circumcised in our hearts, is when we come in contact with the Holy Spirit. When we have the Holy Spirit alive in us, we our hearts become circumcised. We, we want to cut off every wrong attitude, every wrong, wrong mindset, everything that hardens our heart. We want to get rid of it. That If it doesn't line up with God's will for us, we want it to get out of our lives. That's the heart that is circumcised by the Holy Spirit. In place of those things in our hearts, when we allow the Holy Spirit to circumcise our hearts, we see the Holy Spirit flows from our lives. We see that our working of his goodness in our lives and through our lives. And it's a pretty special thing to be able to have happen as a Christian. Finally today, we see David's heart was purified through his suffering and through his grief. He'd been through so much and now he receives the news that his son was dead. Understandably, he was heartbroken. He cried out, if only I had died instead of you. Joab though comes and tells him to pull himself together. It's quite ruthless. He tells him to pull himself together and go encourage the troops who had just won a battle for him. But look at what David does. He changes his attitude. He changes, he takes responsibility for his own heart. In this moment of grief and heartbreak and heartache, he, he, takes, he takes responsibility of his attitude. He takes responsibility of his heart. He goes out and he encourages his people. And in doing so, the Bible says that he wins their hearts towards him. The Bible says that also in winning their hearts, that they actually became united as though they were one man. Not only did David have a change of heart, but so did Shimei. You remember the guy who threw rocks 
at David and cursed him out and a couple of days ago we talked about it you can actually read his repentance in verse 19 to 20 it's 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 wonderful it's a wonderful picture of repentance and it's amazing to me to see that David left it in God's hands only a few days ago and now it's come back around and Shemi or Shemai however you say his name is now repentant through David's suffering he's been purified not only that he's been strengthened and now David's a better leader and a better man than he was before listen suffering and and trials and pain is never fun to go through at the time it's never nice and it's not always deserved but the end result of our suffering and and pain results in purification it simplifies things for us it refines us it strengthens us in areas that maybe we were weak before and we need to be like david and we need to allow our suffering to purify and strengthen us too whenever we go through the suffer, suffering seasons that we would allow those suffering seasons to purify us and strengthen us from the inside Three, two, verse one. of the day yes verse of the day today psalm 71 1 says surely god is good to israel to those who are pure in heart although this is said as a statement laced with tension the truth is yes god is good to those who are pure in heart we need to pursue purity in our hearts with everything that we have because then we will see the goodness of god in our lives that is it for the daily brew today done and dusted on day 163 from singapore to wherever you are today watching this devotional video i pray that god is speaking to you and that you're getting as much out of this as i am we're still in singapore we're going to be here for another couple of days and then we'll be jumping on a flight and lisa will head back to new zealand and i'll be in brisbane for another couple of weeks doing some awesome ministry there thank you so much for partnering with me on this journey and going on this journey of reading the bible in different places uh, as we go around the world traveling doing ministry but also just developing ourselves and getting deeper into the word of god i want to encourage you that no matter where you are no matter what's happening you can dig deep into the word of god it's an amazing journey this journey of life uh, with the lord and thank you for joining me this year as we go through it together though today it is the end a massive thank you to those who have uh, who have sponsored hey maybe that's a word for someone those on spotify and apple Podcasts who have followed the podcast and rated it and to you on youtube if you subscribe thank you so much for doing that make sure you do that click the bell and like this video massive blessing on you that is it for today though have a great rest of your day if it's a study day unless it's sleep time good night sleep tight and we'll see you tomorrow back here for day 164 on the daily brew